Fuck, said Fogg, surviving once again, somehow. The earth singed all around him. Fogg has landed in Birmingham in usual fashion. Wherever he travels, he just thinks of it and wham bam, a puff of smoke, and he leaves and then an explosion on arrival. This is Fogg. Fogg is a Scarlet Macaw parrot. He can transform into anybody and anything. He is on a mission, and what that is he doesn't know, but it does involve Weetabix. Right now, that mission has taken him to Birmingham, and he is here to conquer the city. But somehow, the Brummies have learned of Fox's arrival, and they bombard him with multiple episodes of Peaky Blinders, forcing a number of direct hits. Fox tames the Shelbys with a fascist salute, and Birmingham reels back under the hammer of decadence and fear. The district of Small Heath rallies, and the flat caps emerge, brimming with shiny razor blades. Shotguns ring out from Erdington, pistols from Bordsley Green, baseball bats from West Brom, and raised middle fingers from depressed Aston Villa fans. Those in Spark Hill are none the wiser, and they continue their burglary fest. Undeterred, Fock mounts a sweeping manoeuvre and inflicts a culture of positivity and optimism across all the people in Birmingham. Phrases like, glass half full, self-love, right place, right time, and I am worthy, replace the cultural heritage of die, get dead, who allowed you to breathe oxygen, and in the bleak midwinter. The Brummies can't cope. Their eyes wander down sewage drains, seeking the last vestibule of hope. And whilst the sun shines a magnificent 32 degrees across the English landscape, Birmingham falls silent, defeated, cold, dark, black, and cast forever in shadow. The Middle Earth soot pit of Britain's industrial heritage is lost forever and Fock is triumphant again. Birmingham Falls, now to Newcastle.